Hi everyone, uh, the postman called today and a parcel was received and this is the phone that I've got. i um, very pleased because it's come from uh, uh, one of my excellent uh, sellers on eBay and got it at a very reasonable price. As I say, it was one up for uh, auction but no one else had bid. So I got it at the price that it went up for, which I feel a bit guilty, I must admit, because, you know, I just don't understand why certain phones were not uh, bid for. As I tend to give uh, pictures and talk about telephones of the world, um, it's a nice to have these different phones. And this one is uh, slightly different. As you can see, it's in bits at the moment I took the base off. It's the Iskra ETA 285 and we'll have a, a little look at it um, a bit closer in some places. Put the light on so we can see what we're looking at. It's um, not a rotary phone it uses a keypad. Now when the keypads were first brought out, they gave out Strouger pulsing. They weren't, they didn't give a tone, it was Strouger. So if you press one, you had one as if you had dialed one on a rotary phone, and so on through to nine, or through to O, I should say. O giving ten pulses, or pulses per second. Um, the star and the hatch, which are obviously these that you see here, um, they were used on this dial to recall the last number. So the last number you dial up, I dial 1471, which indicates who the last caller was. This is in England. When you clear down, you can pick it up to get dial tone, and either pressing the star or the hatch, you will repeat on the last number dialed, which in my case was 1471. So it is not an electro uh, uh, electronic, it's, it's electronic, but it's not a tone, it is Strouger pulsing. So it's rather interesting in that respect. It obviously came out the era when uh, the keypad was the done thing and um, this was often the case. It was the case in England and possibly in America. Then yeah, this phone was from uh, Yugoslavia or perhaps more correct to say Zagreb. Uh, Croatia. The year we will have a little look at the back. Now just before we do, go over some of the points. Um, you haven't got a bell, you've got a tone a tone generator. I can show that I'll get my, my good old screwdriver which came from America many years ago. Um, there's the tone generator and you can control it by a little knob on the base, which I think I can move. Yeah, right. And it turns that little potentiometer around. You've got a potentiometer there, so you can go from loud to soft. You've got all the, your electronics. You've got two buttons in the front, which I'll be honest, I do not know what they are for. Possibly one is an earth button and the other one may be to um, supervisory service. Uh, but um, they're there, so they've got to be kept. There's two wires go to each. And see, all these bits just virtually drop in. They're the switches very very loose but once the top goes on and they fit in 
you're okay. A um, bit different to what things were made years ago. But not to worry, the dial, or the keypad I should say, just lifts off. And looking at the base, or the underside of it, you've got quite a few components. You've got a chip there. That's better. I wasn't even focusing on it. You've got a chip, another little potentiometer. Capacitors, resistors, transistors. So as you can see there, there's quite a lot to these. In the olden days they were. Um, you know, they they got things in chips. Um, it's electrostatic, got that sign on there. I think that means that it's it's electrostatic and before working on it you should have a earthing mat and be earthed. Um, that prevents any static electric building up and discharging through the uh, delicate components which could ruin them. Anyhow, I'm going to put the top back just notice the wire there that's obviously not used it does work um, but I'm going to pop the top back making sure everything's back in the right place the this drops through there we are We'll put the top on and then have a look at what the phone looks like. Remember I'm doing this with one hand so it's a little bit awkward. It, there we are. This drops straight on. Right, we've dropped the case on. Uh, the handset, which is also quite a heavy, it's quite heavy, held together with two screws, which is nice. That would rest on top like so. You've got your two buttons, which I say are possibly for supervisory purposes or earth calling if it was used as a party line. Let's turn him over. I won't screw the back on yet because I can do that after I've shown you the video. There we are, we've got a little bit of information at the back. We've got the year as 1988. We'll see the type and model. I'm hoping it's showing up okay. Um, and underneath, this was awarded um, the design. Design of this was awarded by various organisations. And um, if I focus on there. Hopefully that will come up and you'll be able to see what the awards were. It was obviously quite an unusual shaped phone at the time. They have, or they have or had, upgraded it so that the press buttons would give tones. But this is the earlier one which I'm quite pleased to get a hold of. And you can see it made in... Uh, Yugoslavia Iskra the name Iskra as I've said before means spark and all the awards were on there it's in good nick it's got four good screws that holds the base or the cover on to the base there is the adjustment for your um, 
not bell, it's a tone. I'll give a demonstration of it ringing. I'll turn him over. As I say, I only just received it today. It was on eBay. Where else, you know? Unfortunately, the little plastic number thing has gone, but that's not the end of the world. You've got two buttons which are of, which are plastic. Your keep keypad. Right, let's have a let's get that through so I can show you it working. I know you all like to hear these phones working. Plug in. Now it's interesting to note the The um, plug was obviously the modern one. It, it, it's the American type. You can see it's plugged into my thing, um, which I I was surprised. I thought it might have had the uh, pin plug, but it didn't, and I was rather pleased to get that. Anyhow, let's get um, let's get a demonstration of what the ringer sounds like. Just hoping I've got it on maximum. I have now. I'll put it on maximum sound. Now we'll get dial tone. Dial tone. Right. One, seven, five. Clear down. And a bit of luck. There we go. That is what it sounds like on ringback. I dialed the 175 and that is uh, for Great Britain is the ringback number. I haven't got to ring it from my mobile phone. It just rings it. So that was a ringback. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Um, you know, I, as, you, as you know, I, I, I do love talking. I love looking through the other uh, videos that are on YouTube, uh, what other people have done. And I'm sorry that um, they didn't have YouTube in my younger days, but they didn't. Um, there's so much interest on, on them with the, the subjects that I cover telephones, lamps, uh, cacti and succulents, some antiques. Um, it's so interesting, just have a read, but there's nothing much on TV. In fact, there's a lot of rubbish on TV. Anyhow, please subscribe, please comment, and uh, once again, many thanks to the sender of the phone. Beautifully packed really well packed um, and very very reasonable once again many thanks so that was the phone the Iskra ETA 285 I believe the term E refers to electronic so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you all again on the next video I do, maybe on the plants, may even be on a lamp, don't know. Anyhow, thanks again, thanks for watching.